I look uh, like actual trash <laughs> Hi, hello, welcome back to my channel It's been a little bent um, Sis has been very stressed, sis has been very overwhelmed Sis has been going through it Did I stop recording? Today is basically the day before I start school uh, My university starts tomorrow so I'm a little bit nervous I'm a little bit stressed, I have a lot of things going on in my mind So I thought I'll vlog who is she? A very stressed girl lately So I'm just gonna sit down, do my makeup I have a photo to take for a brand This necklace is from XVXII It's from their Boss collection It's called the Courtney Chain You can shop it um, I'll link it down below You can use Sagel15 to get 15% off your order So that would be great um, Yeah, so I'm gonna take some photos with this necklace I look like literal trash right now I worked out in the morning I had my breakfast And I'm just gonna get some makeup done So we can take some photos wash my hair and I've been letting it air dry and I really don't want to blow dry my hair just for a photo and I kind of like the curls, it's more natural but um, yeah, this is how I look with no blow dried hair I'm just gonna do my makeup since it's oh my god, my hair needs help since it's a very gold jewelry kind of look I kind of want to do some like gold eyeshadow and make that really pop so I have some liquid eyeshadow like this one or let me see actually because I want something that will really really pop you know I think this this is the winner I'm gonna do some really simple makeup because I honestly don't have any plans for today and I hate doing makeup when I have no plans but it is what it is yeah school is starting tomorrow I'm very stressed I I actually don't know why I have so much inertia when it comes to school starting I think it's also because like you know um, I have been on holiday for so long so I'm not used to the whole fact that like I have to do back to school but I don't want to talk about the whole back to school thing so much because you can listen to my podcast the spill sesh with Sage I actually have to record an episode for today which I'm going to do later after I get this photo done and it's going to be all about back to school so if you want to listen to that and why I'm so nervous link will be in bio I don't know how I'm going to manage um, my podcast, YouTube, and school all at once. I don't know how I'm gonna manage all of that all at once, but I'm gonna have to figure it out. So I did a podcast with the brand owner. Oh shit, did I get makeup? Okay, no. I did a podcast with the brand owner of this brand, XVXII. She's a 20 year old girl, her name is Bibi. Um, she's a great girl. I mean, we bonded so much on the podcast. And um, if you want to listen to it, listen to this week's last week's episode. It was actually one of my favorite episodes to record, just because I always feel so inspired when I hear like, you know, entrepreneurs tell their story, and especially when they're young women, telling how they just started working when they were so young and they built a brand. And honestly, like, look, the quality of the brand is also so good. She's not paying me to say this. Like, I genuinely love her brand. And yeah, I love supporting people with such a great story behind it. And we got a lot of good feedback from that episode as well, so that made me really happy. You know, so listen to it if you want. I don't even know why I decided to vlog. I don't even know if I can vlog. Like, who will want to watch my vlogs? <laughs> Obviously you! I kind of want to do like a very goldy, bronzy lip, but I don't know how to do that. I have this kind of like metallic gloss, but underneath it... Yeah, I have this like cherry color from MAC. This is... I don't know, A77. I'm just going to blot this on it and then put the gold metallic on top. I feel like in photos, whenever I take photos for like brands and stuff, I always like to do a very like glossy, glossy lip just because I feel like it just makes it pop. So for the hair, I'm thinking of doing like a, you know, 
So like, I kind of really like the curls that my hair is giving because it's wet. So I think this might look better instead of straight hair. So I'm just gonna see whether I can just do a little hairstyle. This is the final look for the photo. I just kind of like my hair wet and curly just because I wanted it to be a bit more natural looking. And I just tied my little half up quite high so that it, you know, accentuates the face and it snatches it. So I'm just gonna take the photos and I'll be right back. I got the photos. It just a little bit hot. Um, so now I'll just kind of like go through them and edit them. So I'll show you my little editing process. This, this is the embarrassing truth of taking photos for a brand. It's yeah, okay. So I have like different... Oh, I kind of like this angle. It's kind of like model-esque, but you can't even see the necklace. Alright, let's go through it. Oh, this is cute, but again, you can't see the necklace! This is nice, you can kind of see the necklace, but I don't like how it looks. I always like to do one smiley one just to be safe. Oh, these these are cute. These are cute. You can see the necklace as well. Okay, cool. Okay, it's about 2 p.m. I edited the photos. I put it up on my Instagram. Go check it out. Follow me at SagelXX. And um, now I have to record my podcast, edit it, post it, do the cover art, and promote it on social media so that's what i'm gonna do right now today's episode is gonna be back to school so i'm just gonna set up my little setup and kind of show you behind the scenes of what i do every monday for the podcast usually if i record with the guest i use an iphone mic but if i do solo episodes i just use this mic i got it off lazada it's like 15 bucks um because i don't make any money off the podcast i'm not gonna invest into a huge mic when i literally have the resources i have at home which is my iphone and um, this was like 15 bucks and it's not too bad but to be honest I prefer the iPhone mic I just think that this is better because of the buffer it has over here so it doesn't have as many like pff sounds whereas with the iPhone mic I tend to get a lot of the puff the f like the breathing in sounds a lot which I don't like so yeah I kind of use this mic I make sure the fan is off right now it's on and I like notify everyone at home please don't make any noise so I have a show plan, which I can show you now actually how it looks like. So for example, like I use my notes over here and I kind of just have a show plan of what I really want to talk about. So like these are my all my show plans I've done. And um, yeah, I do plan out everything just because um, we all know. I am a planner so I do plan everything out I just feel like it keeps me structured I don't like to really ramble on a podcast just because then there's no outline to it so yeah let's just get started testing oh god I need to close all my tabs but testing testing one two three testing one two three hello and welcome to the spill sesh episode 15 you're with me Sejal your host for this podcast This week's episode it's just gonna be me it's a solo episode i do have more guests coming and i just want to thank people who have been writing in to the podcast asking if they can be on the podcast and telling me their stories it's actually so interesting and so cool to get to know other people as well okay i don't know why okay I'm, i don't like this whole camera thing in my face so i'm just gonna off it real quick one sec see you in a bit i just finished recording this week's episode so now i'm gonna edit it i recorded i think maybe about 40 minutes worth of an episode which i kind of like doing a little shorter episodes i know 40 minutes sounds very very long but to me they're short like one hour episodes is what i really try to hit but that usually happens when i have a guest so yeah i really like how it is um it's very like it's just about back to school i'll, I'll leave the link in the bio if you want to listen to this week's episode so now i'm gonna edit it just finished editing the podcast it turned out to be like 20 minutes the episode i'm not really happy with it i mean i like the episode but i didn't think it was going to be that short mm, i think this is probably the shortest episode i've put out but 
it's fine it's fine it's just my own like <clears throat> so i'm just gonna show you what it looks like when i export it so i use um adobe premiere pro to edit the audio it's the same software i use so just want to export it media so mp3 and then i'll maybe label this at 15 oh i realize you can't see anything and export so once that exports, I kind of usually do the cover art, I promote it on my socials. But since this is a really short episode, I don't think I'm going to do a cover art. I'll just leave it as the original podcast art. So yeah, that is basically the podcast. I use the website Anchor to create a podcast. So if you want to you know, start your own podcast, anchor.fm is actually the best place to use it. <laughs> Not sponsored, I wish it was sponsored. But yeah podcast is done so now i'm gonna upload it get it up and then after that i need to help my brother with something he's also been filming a lot of stuff for his new account i'm gonna put it right here under sahil underscore covers um i've been helping him film and edit some of the videos so i'm gonna help him film that and then i need to run some errands for school tomorrow i need to get some stationery look whenever i get stationery it just always puts me in a good mood okay i'm five years old i know but i thought i would bring you along I just got my ears. <laughs> I don't know what she filmed, but um, what do you think, Chef? I don't see a difference. <laughs> we are in a happy place now. Why are you vlogging? No, they don't have the same papers they did last time. <laughs> no one's in a happy place. I'm getting all my stationery and I'm super happy, but I don't know whether to get the box. It is 9.05. I am back home. I did a little bit of a stationery haul because I'm, I'm a nerd, okay? I really enjoy stationery shopping. It makes me happy before school starts and school starts in um, 12 hours. So I got some stuff and as the nerd I am, I'm going to show you guys what I got. Starting with popular, I got these Stablo highlighters. Well, I've never thought I would show my nerd side on YouTube, but um. You know, it is what it is, okay? Also, also, uh, side note, I got two more piercings. This one basically fell out, and then, so I've got it re-pierced, and then I got this one pierced too. So I got these Stablo highlighters. I like the pastel colors, so. I thought these are cute. And I just got these like random ass pens from Popular just to have them on my desk, because I think, or like put in the house or on the house. It's always good to have pens everywhere. Then I got this pack of Sarasa pens. Yo, Sarasa is bae, okay? Like, Sarasa is the OG and it's my favorite brand of, it's my favorite brand of pens. I don't know, my handwriting just looks bomb with them. Also got this pack of Sarasa pens, their new packaging and like these pretty cool colors because I do a lot of notes um, from my school. So this would be a good way to spice them up. Oh, I got a $5 voucher. Then I got some markers as well for like notes and stuff and um, then I have this after piercing care solution for my piercings. I don't know, just a cute. Then I got some storage stuff for my desk. So basically my desk right now as you can see is very disgusting and very messy and very like just all over the place. I really want to make it very clean. Um, have a tan color tone. So I got this storage holder for my Pens and all that I'll put this in there. I got this as well to put like 
other stuff. My favorite purchase. <laughs> so usually I get a typo and get those like notebooks for my notes and stuff where I do my own notes. Um, but this time there was no typo in Tempe, so I decided to go to Muji with my sisters, and I'm so glad I did because I think this will be a lot better, a lot more minimalistic. It goes with the whole tan theme. I got this. <laughs> I got this file holder. It fits everything that I need. Okay, first I got this paper. It's the A4 paper for the files. So I got four of these, each one for each module. They're just these like really simple tool ring binder files. So I thought those would be very good for like my notes, my lecture slides and everything. And I can organize them and reuse them as well. And this paper will just go hand in hand. And I also got this file for school because it's very thin. I don't really have a lot of papers for school, but it's still very good like in compartmentalizing it. So I think this will be good for school. And that is my stationery haul. So I'm just going to organize my stuff a bit and BRB. it a bit it's still quite messy but i just put all the like packages in here my new pen holder here then i put in the files here along with the paper from my notes my podcast mic and then i can't figure out my laptop situation but there's definitely a lot more spring cleaning that needs to be done over here which i'll do soon but for now the desk looks fine and i guess that's it for today thank you so much for watching i know this is a different kind of video very all over the place kind of more vlog style so i really hope you enjoyed that like this video if you enjoyed it comment down below what other videos you want to see and subscribe for more i will see you all in my next video